A lot of entrepreneurs are perfectionists, and this can be good in a lot of ways because it will drive you towards high quality in your business. However, obsessing over getting every single detail exactly right before ever going to market is only going to hold you back as an entrepreneur. I've talked about this before, but it seems to be a recurring topic of discussion, so I wanted to go ahead and address it again. If you're new to entrepreneurship, you have to accept the fact that striving for perfection is actually just a means of procrastinating. You will never get to perfection, so if that's a prerequisite for launching your business, you'll never actually launch, and then you'll never know if you could have succeeded. Now, clearly, you shouldn't just be throwing spaghetti against the wall to see what sticks with no thought, research, or attempt at quality. I do not argue that because perfection is not achievable, you should stop caring about quality altogether. But I do argue that you should be cognizant of the necessary compromises that you'll need to make as an entrepreneur and realize that it's often better to get something out into the world so that you can start to get feedback and build momentum than it is to wait until you've created a completely flawless product. If the world's biggest companies waited for perfection before releasing a new product, we never have any new software to play with or make our lives easier. If a major corporation with thousands of team members can't create something that's aesthetically pleasing, has everything, every feature you'd ever want, and doesn't have a single bug, why would you expect that you can? If you're hung up on trying to make everything 100% perfect before you start telling the world about what you have to offer, stop for a moment and ask yourself the following questions. Does the version I have now solve the problem that I set out to solve? Are there things that aren't perfect fundamental to the product or are they extras or aesthetics? Is this were not my product, would I be as critical as I am of it now or would I use it and love it and just hope for a few tweaks in the next, in the next update? Can I build a user base with the current version or not? If you're hesitating because of things that are not essential and won't hold you back from beginning to build a user base, get over it and get going. Remember, even the founder of LinkedIn, Reid Hoffman, said, if you're not embarrassed by the first version of your product, you've launched too late. Now I want to hear from you. Do you ever fall into the perfectionism trap? If so, how do you pull yourself out of it? Let me know in the comments section below, and if you're not already watching at kcosta.com, make sure to get over to the website now to join the conversation. While you're there, sign up for my newsletter so you never miss out on any helpful information to help you launch and grow your business. And if you like this video, please let me know by liking it and sharing it with a friend or colleague whom you think it would benefit. Did you find this video helpful or fun? Then share it with a friend who you think would benefit from the dish. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Facebook and subscribe to my channel on YouTube so you never miss any of the latest tips, tricks, and tutorials to help your business grow. And you get to see my adventures through the wide world of entrepreneurship and how I use the freedom running my own business gives me. Also, remember to head over to kcosta.com so you can get in on the conversation about how to build your business to success so you can live your life your way.